You know, my wife watches that show with the ladies there whose dad is now a woman. And, uh, you know, the ones out there in Calabasa, you know, the way they fucking talk. I was sitting there, you know, and this is this was a, a pivotal turning point in me getting along better with my wife was I just gave into reality TV. And I, you know what I mean? I just dialed into my fucking inner Caitlyn Jenner. And was just like, all right, I'm going to fucking, I'll feminine it up here. Right? I'll tuck the package between the fucking. <laughs> I'll duct tape my balls and dick to my taint for the next fucking hour. And I will sit here and I will watch this horse shit. So I'm watching it, right? And uh, the big one there, as Jay Lawhead calls her, the power forward of the Kardashians. All right. She's driving the meerkat one and then the one who's married to the fucking uh, Kanye West. The always humble Kanye West, right? And uh, they're driving over because she's trying to figure out, you know, if the fucking, whatever, if the splooge made it to the fucking hangar area. Sorry, I'm not trying to get all medical on you guys. She's trying to see if she's pregnant or what. I don't know what the fuck's going on. So they're driving to some SUV. They're in Wyoming, right? Because that's what rich people in California do. They eventually, you know, want to pretend that they're ranchers. So they buy a big, they buy a spread out there in Montana or something. Long, and long story short, they're driving in this fucking SUV, right? The power forward's behind the wheel, as Jay Lawhead calls her. The meerkat is in the fucking passenger seat. And uh, old Sploogie's in the back, right? So they fucking, uh, it's snowing. And this truck goes by. You know, the truck has, like, the wind or whatever, you know, as it goes by. So, uh, you know, James Worthy there is fucking, you know, whoa, going like, what the fuck? And then they keep talking and blah, 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 blah. And then another truck goes by. And next thing you know, she lost complete control of the car. And as it's spinning, right, the woman in the back, I think she's pregnant, so she's freaking out. Oh, she's got a baby there. A cute little baby is sitting there. You know, reading the fucking paper and they start spinning. So the one in the back, the mother is going, hey, fucking, uh, you know, Orlando Woolrich. What the fuck? What's going on? And as they're spinning, the woman behind the, the, the fucking wheel is going, it's not my fault. It's not my fault. It's not my fault. And they fucking, <laughs> they spun into oncoming traffic. Luckily, we're not hit. Right. And then they fucking went off the road into a ditch. And the big one, the captain, Captain fucking Kirk, took no responsibility whatsoever. It was just like, you know, and was actually mad at old Sploogie back there because she was upset with her. She was going like, I, I, I mean, I was like, I was chocolate by. I was like, when? And it, it blew me into some black ice. It's like, no, you were going too fast. You were driving too fucking fast for those conditions. You lost control of the car with your niece in the car. You fucking dope. Right? And nobody held their feet to the fire. Nobody gave her anything. It's like, you, you are a fuck up. You know, just standing there with your fucking back of your head touching the top of your back, trying to talk to her, get, trying to get in her grill. Right? Staring up from her navel, looking between her titties. Seeing a half of two nostrils, just yelling at her. Hey, you fucked up, lady. Right? None of them said that. And then they just like, they're, they're fucking just standing there going like, when, when, when my giant eight-foot sister lost control of the SUV, it was like so scary. Like, they always like build up to a fucking point. You're like, yeah, and, and. And it's always just like, ha. When this meteor came down at our house and it slammed in to the roof above my bedroom, and for half a second I thought I was going to die, I was like so scared. (laughs) So I am standing up. Pacing in the living room now like a fucking, I don't know, 
some fucking pissed off coach who's trying to stay inside the coach's box so he doesn't get it technical. And I'm fucking screaming at the TV like a bad call was made. Completely forgot that I was going to sit there and try and get along with my wife by watching this horse shit. And I'm yelling at the TV. I'm like, no, you fucking eight foot cunt. You fucked up. You were driving too fast. Fast. My fucking voice cracking. You were driving too fast, man. Your fucking niece is in the car. Right? Slow the fuck down. You're driving a four wheel drive vehicle. You fucking dope. Oh, my God. Done with that show. That was it. I tried. I lasted fucking one clip. I'm done with that show. Fucking done with that show. I fucking hate when people do shit like that and people call them on them. Yeah, it was your fault. It is your fault. Stop being powerless, you moron. All right? You have total control of that fucking situation. You just drive a little slower. You drive a little slower. Um, anyways. Anyway, I, I shouldn't be making fun of them. You know, what they're going through right now, what they're having to deal with, you know. Left is white, black is my, up and down is black and white, inside out, da da da, and now Bruce is fucking Caitlyn, right? I really, I, I really hold firm on that, that people cannot get upset with anybody in that family if they're still a little fucking wigged out that their, their dad is now their mom. You know what I mean? Just exactly what is the average, you know, time it takes, you know, for you to fucking get your head around that? You know, I don't know. My wife's sitting there going, oh, he's showing his fucking titties to his kids. It's just like, he's doing what? I, I, I mean, I don't, is that true? If that's true, I don't give a fuck. That's just wrong on all kinds of levels. You know what I mean? I know. I get it. I get it. You're coming back from the mall, and you got a little uh, shop, shopper's high going on, and you want to show what you got. But they're tits, right? When you were a guy, did you take your balls out and show them to them? No, you didn't. You don't do that. You don't show your sexual goods to your fucking kids and then compile it with new sexual goods, right? And it's not like new and improved, like, hey, I got my dick enlarged. No. I fucking, uh, <laughs> I got some tits now. Would you like to see them? No, Dad. I mean, Mom, I wouldn't. Jesus Christ, Caitlin, can you put your fucking new tits away? Is that asking too much? You already took all my rouge. Now you're going to take your tits out? I mean, I'm sitting in a car, and I was chilling. It was like, so. Sky, when you took your tits out, Dad, it was like, so. Sky. I was like, is my dad taking his tits out right now? I was like, Bruce, I mean, Kayla. I mean, what the fuck?